friends welcome and today I want to continue my last video and in my previous video we have talked about uh, basic python syntax for our engine plugin in quantum js and topic for today is uh, how we can work with image in this plugin and in my python code editor I already prepared some code here this for uh, import our engine package and this for load our image for load an image we just need this function ee.image and fill this parameter with image id that we want to show this you can find this image id in a image collection for instance but we will talk about image collection in a tutorial part 3 and for now just uh, ignore it you can load your uh, own image also if you already have like this uh, I mean your image from your uh, Google Earth Engine asset and for instance this my asset ID users and this my folder and this my image like this this my set or engine set and first let's learn from uh, how we can show uh, this image metadata for instance if you want to show this image uh, I mean list of this image bench Just do this bands call your image here then dot bands names like this and don't forget add this let's see oh I'm sorry I mean uh, Ben without S run it again now see this function return this image uh, bends this a complete bends for a lens at 8 and then let me uh, clear it before and then let me show this image here like this image dot update like this dot get here dot get info like so run it now we got a uh, dutch image here this for uh, 2014 and then let me get this image uh, cloud cover like this image dot get and fill this uh, with lens 8 uh, cloud cover properties and you can find for instance lens 8 uh, properties just a uh, search for lens 8 a good earth engine and you will find this lens 8 and select your image collection here and, and see this lens 8 properties and you can find this cloud cover properties you can copy and put it here dot get info let's see now we got uh, this image cloud cover uh, percentage this a 
the example code how we can get a, our image metadata and after this let me comment this and then let's uh, try add this image to our quantum gis layer just uh, do this map dot dot add layer call your image put it here and then ignore this for now and name of your image my image for instance and let's see oops wait i need to add a dot center object this function will automatically uh, apply to this image directly image zoom level let me try 10 and let's run it now see and this is my image by the way now we success uh, add our image to our quantum gis layer and then let's learn how we can uh, create image style create new variable here style open curly bracket force and your bent like this open a square bracket and fill this with your bands let me try a neutral color 4 and b3 b2 after this define min value 0 and then max value uh, 0 0.5 and then uh, gamma I got it from a Google example code after you finish just uh, copy this variable and put it here see and let's run it Now see, we style this image with a natural color band combination. This how the image looks like. And after this, how we can, uh, let's say, if you just want to get three band combination, like this and call your image dot select and let me try another bank composite 5 4 and 3 after you are selected uh, your image band you don't need that you can remove it like so and you can change this image with your uh, three band combination image and let's see now this is how my image looks like after we uh, select this band apply a new style here and after this i want to uh, clip this image 
and for do uh, clipping we need a uh, geometry and for look a geometry you can do this create new variable polygon ee dot future like this and ee dot geometry dot polygon open bracket here open a square bracket and open it again like so and you can uh, enter this like so and fill this with your uh, geometry coordinate and I already prepared it before this my geometry like so you can enter this and now for a clip this image we need add dot a clip function here open bracket and fill with your geometry variable here and let me add my uh, geometry I mean my polygon here and you can give your geometry color for example color uh, black like this and let's see run it now this is my image after I clip it see this is my original image this is my polygons see oh sorry and by the way you can overlay this image with your uh, local polygon I mean a polygon from your uh, laptop like this see but you can use this polygon for clip this image directly and if you want to do that you should upload this a shape file to your uh, or engine asset and then you can call your uh, future use this function and let me remove it and i guess uh, this end of this video and hopefully this video help you and if you uh, like this video uh, please subscribe like and comment and see you